hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see what is security group and how to implement security group in the odoo and in case you missed this discussion about how to implement record rules in odoo please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topic wise you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see odoo development playlist available and here you can see different topic wise playlist available with real task tab and apart from this you can see two other playlist available python related tips and editor related tips and if you need any support related to odoo you can visit the about page and you can send your query to this email address and source code is also available in the github plus we have a social media pages you can follow those pages to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how to implement group and what is it so let's say i'm giving you one example to understand the groups here you can see the my quotation filter is available right and total seven record is available here total seven record then after if i will remove the filter you can see total 20 record is available for the sales order like let's say you have a sales department and under the sales department you have a different designations right and here like let's say the normal user then after the quality checker and the manager right so normal user can access only own record then after they can't see other things let's say this product the invoicing part the reports and this configurations right they can't see only they can see is this quotations and orders only not any of the manuals then after like normal quality checker comes to the picture so they can see only the these two parts like quotations and the product that's it no any other things they can see but let's say as an admin they can see all the menus like all the menus here including the configuration and all so here if you want to implement a such way like as a designation wise then the group come through the picture security groups i mean so here in the settings if i will go to user right and here you can see there are list of groups available this one so let's say this user this admin user want to active this analytic account tag so i can simple click so it means in the accounting side they can see analytic tags so here like this group having a specific record rules and access rights is applicable for this user right same like here also if you remember like only normal user supervisor or the administrator of the cells all have each and every groups having a different functionalities i mean the different access rights available right so here it will work based on the groups so i hope you understood about what is group here and now let's try to create a separate group right for this this model so let me go to here or do training custom add-ons in the school and you can see there is a security folder created and this is our xml file so let's say here i will add i will create a new record for the group the security group so here in this case we have to use res.groups as a model name and this model specially used for the security group purpose only all right and here we have to provide a unique name id i mean like access student school profile group and here i will add one simple name which is display here like this so i will add here like student school profile let's say this is the group name right 
and here now I'm trying to upgrade this module but I will not upgrade module from the front end side I will do in the back end side here and if you don't know how to configure like this way in the PyCharm please check the editor level tips playlist over there I already explained how to configure and here you can see there is no student school profile is available here right you can see there is a zero found now let me refresh the page now you can see it create it's created a new group so this is a group created as an individual right so we have an individual plus multiple like hierarchy way we can also create a group like this as a sales or as a administrator or invoicing as a combo box you can also add or like this we will check in our upcoming sessions how you can do like this now you can see like this is a student school profile right now let's say i will what i will do i will do one thing i will cut from here and i will paste here and this is the id right so what i will do like once this group selected then and then only this menu will display otherwise it won't be displayed this menu or no access rights given to this model so for that like we can copy this xml id and we have to add here a new field in the access model field name like group underscore id ref and here we can add something like this plus we can add here the module name school dot and then the name of the group name and here you can see this is the record rules we created right for the same user or uh, same model so here i will also add a group so let's say group then after eval and here i will add something like this in a double quote school dot and here i will add the name of the group name and simple i will close the statement right so this group can access so this group we can add in the access model like this group having a, this type of permission and here in the record rules we also added the group like this so once So here you can see this once this group is ticked then after this profile accessible by that user only right so for that we just use like this way and we want to also add the group under the record rules so we assign here as a group and that group name also you can add multiple group names by comma that is also fine but later i will explain how to do that one now you can just focus like this is a new group we created and this group whoever assigned to that specific user they can access only this model all right so let me upgrade the module i'm trying to refresh the page and now you can see that menu automatically removed here right why because we don't have access right and for that if you want if you want to have that access for that model then you have to compulsory assign this group and then after save to the specific user and try to refresh the patch
and now you can see this menu available if you click here you can see the re available records right plus i am switching to the new user as a mark demo right and if i will go to here in the school profile all right so now you can see this that menu is not display here actually that model also right so let's say you want to do the same right for the mark demo also then you compulsory have to add this group you have to assign this group to the specific user then after this user applicable applicable to see that menu you can see here plus you can see the record rule also applied here you can see there are two records display and here you can see only one record is display why because in that record rules we created user can see own record if you don't know how to assign record rules please check the previous discussion i already explained what is record rules and how to implement so this is called a basic security group and i hope you understood how to implement security group in odoo side in case you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be how to create this other or this extra rights or technical or let's say user type or self category in the group group level right so i will explain that part in our next session